Hi, my name is Larissa Kaiser and I'm the founder of Jill, a Women Plus in Translation reading series that spotlights women and or non-binary translators or translators of women and or non-binary authors, or both. Jill began as a live bi-monthly reading series in New York City in 2019, but it's now gone online, which is actually really exciting because it means that we get to accept submissions from translators who are not only in the New York City area, but also all around the country and in many cases all around the world. Going forward, we will be posting a new video of a translator reading on our YouTube channel every week on Wednesdays. So if you have work that you're interested in sharing, either work in progress or um, a, a really polished work, something that's published, something that's unpublished, it's entirely up to you, please get in touch. You can find out more information about the series and how to submit at jillreadingnyc.com or you can email jillreadingnyc uh, at gmail.com with any questions you might have. So now, please enjoy the reading. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rachel Daum. I work as the Communications and Awards Manager at the American Literary Translators Association, also known as ALTA. Um, I received my BA in Creative Writing from the U University of Rochester and my MA in Slavic Studies from Indiana University. I also received um, certificates in Literary Translation Studies from both institutions. I currently live and work in Cologne, Germany, and I translate from Serbian, Russian, and German into English. And today I'm going to read for you a poem from this collection by Marko Tomas, who is a, a Croatian poet I'm very happy to work with. The collection is called Regata Papernih Brodova, which is a regatta of paper boats. Um, Marko Tomas was born in Slovenia, uh, what is now Slovenia in Ljubljana, and was educated in what is present day Bosnia and Serbia, and he currently lives in Croatia. He's published nine collections of poetry in the former Yugoslavia, the most recent of which is 39th May, published in June 2018. His collection of essays, Letters from the South, and his first novel, Don't Wake Me Up, were both published last year in 2019. His works have been published uh, all over the world in different translations, and I feel really lucky to get to work with Marco. So the uh, the poem that I have chosen to share with you today is called Prebor Zebrianje, uh, which I've translated as shaving kit. So first I'll read the Croatian. I apologize, I have a pretty bad accent when I read, so um, I'm sorry if there are any native speakers listening. So I'll read the Croatian first and then the English. Prej por zebrajenje. Ona ne razpoložena zamaženje. Krivje list koji žutju saksi. Ona nešto pokrašno čini i biljka odomire. Ne pomažu ni upute s interneta. Ona ni raspoložena, ne želi piti, ne želi biti u mom ili bilo čijem društvu. Prene je više od sudbine svijeta, ta mala jesen u lončiću za cvijeće u našem dnevnem boravku. Tako se lako rastuži, mladost valjda ne svate jesen. Predlažem da posmatra kako se prijem, da pusti neku glazbu koja se cvijeće će svijet predvoditi u trno bijeli film, da gleda kako zapijeni zapun pada na moju podkušuju i kako moja rijetka sjede brade nestaje. Predlažem da zabodvi žuti list, da natoči hladno bijelo vino do pola čaše, da dolije mineralnu vodu, da ipak pije sa mnom i gleda kako se prijem, kako ispivim žilet, pod mlazom hladne vode, kako zatežem kožu na licu, dok razmišljam, a uvijek tu činim, da napravi mali rez, tik do vratne žile. Predlažem da, da mi zaustavi krv, da odpriše moje lice toplim ručnikom, da potom zaspi na kauču dok pijem, da je usnovu zapamtim u svom životu, da je uklašem u kalendar, Daleko od malih jeseni, ali plavo kosu, bljedu, istinitiniju od ove pjesme. Ok, here's the English. Shaving kit. She's not in the mood. The leaf that's gone yellow in the flower pot is to blame. She makes a mistake in the plant wilts. Advice from the internet is no help. She doesn't feel like it. She doesn't want to drink. She doesn't want to be around me or anyone else. This little autumn in a flower pot 
in our living room bothers her more than the fate of the whole world. So she gets sad easily. It's probably that youth doesn't understand autumn. I suggest that she watch me shave or turn on some music that'll turn the world into a black and white film. That she watch as foamy soap drips onto my undershirt and how my sparse gray beard disappears. I suggest she forget about the yellow leaf, that she pour the chilled white wine, that she fill the glasses halfway, that she sip mineral water, that she drink with me anyway and watch me shave, how I rinse the razor under a jet of cold water, how I pull the skin of my face taut while I imagine, like I always do, making a slit just short of my jugular. I suggest she dab my blood, that she wipe my face with a warm towel, that afterwards she fall asleep on the couch while I drink. I remember her sneaking into my life, that I carved her into my calendar, far from this little autumn, but blonder, paler, truer even than this poem. Thank you.